Okay. So if you've got these, uh, this format of values coming out of A, you've uh, successfully create, uh, completed this exercise. And um, now we need to, because the points are still being created in here, we're just not uh, supplying them to an output. Because the next step is that we want to take those points and use the diction that are stored in the dictionary and use the dictionary keys to easily allow us to complete a polyline uh, a set of polylines across the surface, right? So instead of just points, we're now going to create polylines, and it's a lot easier for us to move through the uh, the points if they're organized in a dictionary than they would be if they were just on a list. So if we see here, we have, let's say, four points. These letters define the keys that go along with those points, right? I, comma, J. That's how we define the key. So if we have I comma J, that's this point, or any point on the grid of uh, surface points, and we wanted to, to essentially walk through these points to create quads, we could move from I comma J to I plus 1 comma J to I plus, two, I plus 1 comma J plus 1 to I comma J plus 1 and back, and that will create a polyline using those keys with very simple offsets as a way to move through the grid of points, right? So let's go ahead and uh, create our polylines. And this is where the pace can start to pick up because we're building up the logic of our Python script. So this is uh, creating a dictionary of surface points. The next file is creating polylines on a surface, right? <coughs> and we're going to go into our script, and um, we're going to start another section, right? The first step is to um, loop through and create our points. The next section is that we have to actually go back through that collection of points and create our polylines. So here, we're going to loop through the dictionary. Uh, to create polylines. All right. So um, that's the kind of uh, macro description of what we're going to do. In order to actually achieve that, we want to first create a loop to step through U, right, which is going to be done by I. Then we're going to, just like as we did above, create a loop to step through V, which is J. Then we're going to create a polyline right at that location or starting from that location use, using our uh, offsets that we just saw in that diagram. And then if we want to use the um, the actual polylines or see them, we need to supply them to the output, right? So the last step is to, after we've created the polyline, we're going to um, just make a note here that we need to send polylines to output. Okay, great. All right, so this part um, should be pretty, um, pretty familiar by now. Right? We're going to create our loop for i in range from 0 to what's going to be our, um, our, where we stop. Right? If we look at our diagram, if this is the farthest that we go, are we going to go to num plus 1 or are we going to go just to num u? The answer would be just to num u. Because that last row and that last column, we don't actually want to start polylines there, right? Because that's where uh, this little note comes in handy, right? We're not going to plus one. We're just going to num u. Same for our j loop. Zero to num v. Okay, so I'm uh, just stopping there. <clears throat> and then we want to um, create our polyline, right? And again, um, we could go to the Rhino script help 
And let's try the search option this time. Let's type in polyline and see what we get. Add polyline. That looks good. This adds a polyline object to the current model. Um, a little tip, all of the uh, methods that start with add and then some geometry, those are used to add that new geometry to the document or also called the model, right? So we're going to say add polyline and we have to give a list of points, right? Okay, so we're going to do this all in one line, all right? Here we're going to say, uh, first we need to make sure that we store the results of our polyline. So I'm going to say that this is, should be called my quad. And my quad is going to be equal to rs.addPolyline. And instead of making all of my, uh, li making a list from all of my points that go into here, we're going to do this um, uh, kind of shorthand, right? So it needs to be a list, so I know that I need to start with a open bracket, right? Everything inside this will be my, um, my list of points for my polyline. Now I'm going to start at um, A with the key I, J. So that's my current location. So open brackets, open parentheses, I, J, close parentheses, close brackets. Right, so the key is this part, parentheses i comma j close parentheses. Right, that's how we access that um, value inside the dictionary. So that's where we're going to start. Then we're going to move to the right. So i again plus one comma j. Right, and again a. I plus 1, this is moving up to the upper right hand corner, so I plus 1, J plus 1, comma, again, A, we're going to the upper left hand corner of our quad, I comma, J plus 1, and then back to the original position, which is A, I, J, Then we need to close the brackets, so that defines the entire list of points. And then we need to close the parentheses to finish the, uh, to complete the method. Notice how it highlights the pair of parentheses and brackets so that you can always make sure that you're closing them within that line. So these uh, keys here inside the parentheses match exactly what we have here, right? So if you, um, if you have any errors or you get stuck, you can reference either uh, the slide here um, graphically or the, um, the other file that we gave you, that's file 1-3b. All right, so that will allow, allow us to uh, step through the dictionary to create a quad, right? So if that's successful, it should return that polyline to my quad. The last thing we need to do is we need to send the polylines to the output. So um, we've already used A to store all of our points, right? So we're going to have to redefine this, and that's okay because maybe it will be, more, it'll be helpful for it to be more specific. So what we want to do is um, we want to have um, another list to send out our polylines, right? So up here, uh, we need a second list, which is going to be called cells. And cells is going to be a list. So I'm going to copy this pseudocode to find output as a list. And here we're just using define a dictionary to store points to find output as a list. So down here, to send the polling lines to the output, we're just going to say, as we did before, cells.append. In this case, we're going to be sending my quad to the output. All right. Hit OK. The only thing we need to do is make sure that we change the name of this output to cells. And so right-click and do that. Hit Recompute by right-clicking. Sometimes it gets stuck and you have to do that. Now if I turn the preview on, I'm getting 
um, I'm getting all of my quads <clears throat> displayed on my surface. All right? So now, again, if I make modifications to my sliders, I should get more or less polylines that are closed and being drawn through points on the surface. Okay. So uh, to recap that exercise, right? we're using a dictionary to store all of our points, and then we go back to that dictionary, which allows us to easily define uh, or to grab points from the dictionary based on a simple set of keys to walk through our quad and define uh, our points to define a quad. All right, so um, the next file we're going to go over is looking at how we could conditionally define the an alternative um, polyline here. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and um, address any questions you might have. So let's go ahead and um, pause for a second. If you have any questions, drop them into the question window, and then we'll proceed. If you don't have any questions, go ahead and, um, and say that you're ready to move forward. I want to make sure that you have a chance to type out your uh, keys for your add polyline method. All right. It looks like everyone's ready to move on. Great. Let's do that. <clears throat> 